Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Nichols Nook. If you're new, my name is Jess, and today is gonna be so much fun because Chaz and I are going to the pumpkin patch to get some pumpkins because we are using pumpkins in our gender reveal. Not the gender reveal itself, but we're gonna be using them at the gender reveal party. So we need to go get some pumpkins today. And then we are also gonna take some pictures in the sunflower fields there, which I'm so excited about. Oh my gosh, I think sunflowers are so beautiful, especially for fall. And I'm actually really looking forward to taking pictures by the sunflowers, a little bit more so than picking out pumpkins. I think it's just gonna be fun for us to have a little fall day date. But before we head out there, I wanted to show you guys some of the maternity pieces that I picked up for the fall because I don't know what I'm gonna wear today. I may not even end up wearing anything that I show you. But now that I am almost halfway done with my pregnancy, which is crazy to say, I wanted to share some of the maternity clothes that I've been getting because I am starting to wear a couple of pieces of maternity clothing. Now, I can still wear regular leggings and you know t-shirts and things like that and feel comfortable, but there are some days where my belly just feels so huge, even though I know it's really not huge yet, but I know it's gonna get there really soon, and so I did purchase some maternity clothing just to kind of be ready for that, and then just to wear them on days where I'm feeling a little bit frumpy and just not very comfortable in my regular clothes. So I am gonna show you what I got from Target, Motherhood Maternity, and Let's see, a couple of other places. And again, I'm not sure if I'm wearing any of these to the pumpkin patch or not. You guys will just have to watch the whole vlog and see what I end up wearing. All right, so first I have this plaid. It's almost like a cardigan. This is from Motherhood Maternity and it is also a nursing top which is gonna come in really, really handy after we have the baby, just because it is so light and flowy and it will be easy to access for nursing. But what I love about this, and I'll come a little bit closer, it has this waist cincher. So let me loosen it. So you can have it loose if you want to and just kind of baggy if that's more comfortable. But I don't really love anything that's cinched in at the waist. And especially now that I am kind of starting to poke a little bit out front, it kind of just makes me feel a little bit more, I don't know, a little more shapely, I guess. But you just cinch it in, and that way it gives you the definition on your waist, which I really, really love. It is also really light and comfortable, so it won't make me too hot, because I have been really hot recently, just because of all of the hormones and everything. And so yeah, I really love this for fall. I love plaid in the fall, I think it's so pretty. And then underneath, I have just layered it with this white maternity t-shirt from Target. This is actually Ingrid and Isabel, and they are known to have a lot of really great maternity staple items, like the essentials or the basics. So I will link them down in the description box below if you're interested, but you can find it at Target as well. However, if you don't have Target, definitely check them out. It does have this ruching on the side. I have this shirt in green as well, and these are really comfortable. This is a size medium, and normally I would wear a small, but I've been sizing up just because I am pregnant. And then I also showed you guys the new nursing bra that I got. It is so comfortable. Again, this is Ingrid and Isabel, but you can get it at Target as well. But as soon as I put it on, I was in heaven. <laughs> It is just so much more comfortable than my other bras. So I really like this look. It's very casual and cute and comfy. And then these jeans are from Target as well. But again, they are Ingrid and Isabel. And they are so comfortable. Let me come closer so you guys can see the waistband a little bit. So you can see that it comes up all the way in the front, which again, I don't really need quite yet, but it's fine for now. If I get too hot, I can just kind of scrunch it down and it still is very comfortable. But here's what I love about these jeans. They come into a crisscross, so you don't feel like the kid from the movie A Christmas Story all bundled up. It just keeps me nice and cool, and it just doesn't make me feel like, I don't know, too, too layered or anything. It's very, very comfortable to have that cross in the back. So I thought this was just a cute fall look, and again, it's very casual and just comfortable, really. I could wear this with booties, sandals, flats, boots, anything really, 
and this is very comfortable for fall. All right, next I have just this basic black maternity tank top, and this is actually reversible. Sorry for the tags, I haven't taken anything off yet, but I just wanted to show you the back. So you can actually turn this around and wear this in the front. It does hang a little bit low on me, just because, as you can see, it's just really low cut, but apparently it's reversible. I just chose to put that in the back. Now I could just keep that on like that and wear my hair up in a pony if I had like some yoga pants or leggings on, and that would be kind of cute and comfortable if I was really hot or just at home. But I've just layered it with this, it's like a long cardigan or a duster that I thought was a cute color for fall. It's kind of like a taupe color and it's really comfortable. Both of these are from Ross and I just love them. I think they're so pretty for fall. All right, so next I have this adorable shirt that I found on Amazon. I will link it down below. It is so cute. At least I thought it was so cute. They do have other colors, I believe, as well. And I just went with black because I felt like it made the orange really pop. I don't know. But this is from Amazon and it just says, don't eat pumpkin seeds. And then you can see your little belly right there. So my little belly is poking out underneath that. I did think this might be cute to wear to the pumpkin patch, but I don't know if I want to wear a dress or something yet. I'm not sure. Then underneath, I just have this basic white maternity tank. This is from Ross and I just love how the tanks that I have found at Ross are really, really long. I mean, they're so stretchy. Like, look how long I could pull that if I wanted to. Obviously, I'm not going to pull it that long, but as my belly grows, it will just be perfect to accommodate my growing belly. So I love those. And then these maternity jeans, I got at Ross as well. So right now I only have two maternity jeans and honestly, I'm not a big jeans wearer anyway. So I think I'm just going to stick with these two unless I grow so much where I need to get another pair, but I should be fine with two pairs. These ones are a little bit more distressed and they're shorter. As you can see, these ones are from Ross and they just have kind of that faded or distressed rugged look. I wanted a pair of both. So as you saw, the other ones were just the dark denim. They were just plain. And these ones have that really, really casual distressed look to them. So they aren't actual holes. There is denim underneath there just because I don't know, that's just how they came. And I like it that way, I like them. Now this one you can see does not have the cross in the back. So, I mean it's not really that big of a deal, but this material is also a lot thinner than the other one that I showed you earlier. So it still is pretty light. And for the price, let's see, these were only $14.99 at Ross. So, and they're very comfortable. So like I said, I don't really wear jeans a whole lot anyway, so I think these will be perfect for me during the fall. All right, so next I got this adorable dress from H&M, and this is so light and comfortable, you guys. It is so soft. Oh my gosh, I love it. How cute is this? It's almost like a faux denim dress. It's not really denim. I mean, maybe it is, I don't know, but it's really, really soft, and it has pockets, which if you are a female and you love to wear dresses, you know that any dress with pockets is a huge plus. I love that. And this is just a little tie that sits, it's kind of like an empire waistline right here. And so it just will be able to show off my belly as I get bigger, so I love that. So again, I got this from H&M. I think I might wear this to the pumpkin patch, actually. Maybe with my cowgirl boots. I don't ever get to wear my cowgirl boots, and they did say that it's been kind of muddy up there. That would be kind of cute. We'll see. I think this would look pretty with the sunflowers, too. And then last, I ordered this dress off of Boohoo. I believe they are based in the UK, and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it because it was only $15 online. They were having a sale, and I just didn't know what the quality was going to be like. It is honestly a little bit thin, but I think it's still really cute. And I actually ordered this originally for our gender reveal, but then once Chaz and I talked about it a little more, we decided to go with pink and blue. And so I will do a separate haul on a different brand where I picked up my gender reveal dress as well as some other super cute items. But I just wanted to show you guys some other stores first because that I'll do a separate video on just because they have some really, really nice pieces. So anyway, this is really cute. I feel like I could wear this in the springtime as well, and it's very stretchy. It is a little short though, so I'm not sure how that would work with my growing belly, so we'll just have to kind of see. 
but I think I might be more likely to wear this either after I have the baby or yeah, probably postpartum. I feel like it fits me really well now. I'm again, not really sure how it would be with my growing belly. So that's all of the maternity clothes that I have for you today. But I did want to show you guys something that I got for our gender reveal as well. So let's go ahead and jump over to that. So this is something that I ordered off of Etsy and I'll link it down below in case you are interested, but this is so cute. If you watched our old Wives Tales gender predictions video, you will know that we did get more votes for boy over girl. And as you can see on this chart where it says, what will baby Nichols be? According to these old Wives Tales here, which we did cover in our video, again, we have more for boy and less for girl. So it'll be really interesting to see during our gender reveal what we are actually having. I don't know, everything is leaning towards boy. If you haven't already, be sure to vote in our poll so that we know what you think it's gonna be, a boy or a girl. This is so cute, I absolutely love it. All right, so I'm gonna go change into something a little bit more comfortable. Chaz ran up to Publix to go get us some pub subs for lunch and then when he gets back, we are gonna do a video on our fetal Doppler that we just got. I'm so excited to try it out, you guys. I'm a little nervous to be honest, but I think it's gonna be really exciting and I just can't wait to hear our baby's heartbeat, so I'm looking forward to that. And then once we're done with that and Chaz has recorded the Florida State game because he doesn't wanna miss it, of course, we're gonna go to the pumpkin patch. So, by the way, go Knowles! So hopefully we win our game today. It's been kind of up and down this season, and regardless, we're still Knoll fans, so yes, we will still be cheering on our Seminoles. So anyway, I'm gonna go change, and then we will see you in just a little bit. By the way, you guys know that Chief always has to be where we are. <laughs> in every video. <laughs> He's gotta be right with Mama, huh? Huh, Chief? That's our boy. <laughs> All right, so Chaz picked up some pub subs for us. Thank you. You're welcome. What did you get? Um, the jerk turkey sub. Mm. It's got jerk bacon. turkey, not jerk chicken? No, jerk turkey. It's got bacon and turkey and chipotle uh, gouda cheese. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, with some ranch. Mm. And I got you a veggie sub. Veggie I love, sub. I love public subs. Yeah, and their bread. I always get wheat bread with what kind of cheese? I forget. Mm. <laughs> what kind of cheese? Oh, grow. Oh. Oh, it's melty. No. You're about to drop all of your cucumbers out. That was lettuce. Mm. Except they didn't have um. The sale, usually they have a, a special, like $5.99 foot long of whatever they decide to have that day. But um, they sold out of their their specialty stuff. Oh, today. really? Yeah. There must have been some early breaks. There must have been a good one. Yeah. Uh, and I love these LaCroix. I drink them all the time. You know, they just came out with a study that says that there is um, some kind of chemical that is in cockroach insecticide in those. They're under like a lawsuit right now. What? Yeah. I don't know if you guys have heard anything about that. Let us know. I don't know if it's true or not, but that's what I've heard. I saw it like in an article on Facebook or something. So who knows if it's true? Yeah. That's really grossed me out. Mm -hmm. And you chug those. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I don't know. We should look more into it. I'll keep their come. If they find out that, well, if not, if they're recalled. It'd be too late for them to drink. But I like them because they're like, um, it's like a soda, but it's no calories or anything, no sugars. It doesn't leave a sticky taste in your mouth. Mm. And I'm not one really for carbonated drinks at all. I'll just stick to my water. <laughs> mm. We're going to go ahead and finish our lunch, and then we have our baby Doppler. 
that we're gonna do in a separate video. We're gonna unbox it. I have not looked inside, so I don't, we're gonna do it together and then um, we're gonna test it out for the first time. So that will be in a separate video just because I search for things like that in a separate video, just if there's something specific that I wanna know about. Um, so I'm gonna do a separate video on this. And I don't know if I'm gonna post, I'll probably post that one after this one that you're watching. So be on the lookout for that if you're interested in hearing our baby's heartbeat. So I'm super excited about yeah. that. But, and then we'll do the pumpkin patch here in just a little bit. All right, so unfortunately I have to wait a little bit longer to try my fetal Doppler because apparently it works better if you have an empty stomach and a full bladder. So I just ate a whole six inch sub, so my, my stomach is not empty, and so I'll have to wait a little bit until I guess it digests some. So anyway, while I'm waiting for that, Chaz is outside throwing the ball with Chief, but I wanted to show you guys these adorable pictures. Well, some are adorable, some are not so adorable of Chaz and I from when we were little. So both of our moms have texted me some pictures of us when we were little because I wanna put out some baby pictures at the gender reveal. All right, so I'm gonna show you Chaz's pictures first. <laughs> some of these are funny, okay. So there is a newborn picture. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness, that doesn't even look like him. Do you think that looks like you, babe? A little bit. A little bit? I don't know. I had some hair though. I know. <laughs> this one, he looks like a little man. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite one. I'm pooping. That one is hilarious. You think you're pooping in that picture? Yeah. <laughs> is that a, and I have something on my shirt. And, oh no, I think that's on the picture. Yeah. And then this one, I love that one. That one's precious. I think I'm gonna print that one. And then this one of Chaz and his mom. Your mom looks so pretty in that picture. Yeah. I love that. Long hair. Yeah. I haven't seen her work through that long. She looks so young. So those are his baby pictures. What? I've this... never seen that picture. <laughs> so this is my first Halloween costume. I was a red crayon. <laughs> That's why I'm a teacher. I'm I sure. That's why I was a teacher. Oh you no. Look like elf no. From the movie Elf. I do. Oh, you were cute. Aww. Whoa! Ooh, yeah, that one's a little scary. <laughs> Dude, that does not look anything like you. <laughs> that doesn't look like me. So I did have jaundice when I was born too, but look at that hair. That yeah. is some dark hair. Wow. Oh, I love this picture. This that is probably my favorite. Look at those Michelin Man arms though. Oh, wow. It's roll after roll. <laughs> yeah, but I was really light but I didn't look it. I love that picture. My mom is so pretty in that picture. I love it. It makes me like tear up. My dad, I look like a boy in that one. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Oh yeah, see, look at how Cute cool it details. was. yeah. Thanks. I just posted this one on Instagram. <laughs> mm. There's a Aww. newborn one. Aw, I love that picture with my dad. Mm -hmm. So I just loved all of those baby pictures. They are so much fun, and I am gonna print some for our baby gender reveal. I definitely love the ones with both of our moms. And then the newborn ones, I probably will print those, even though they're not the cutest. But I feel like we got kind of a little bit cuter as we aged a little bit more. But anyway, yeah, I thought those were fun, and I just wanted to share them with you. All right, so we're here at the pumpkin patch and Chad's had to get his boiled peanuts. <laughs> yeah, look at that one. These are a southern delicacy. Yes, they are. We haven't had them in, I think we said, what, six years? Yeah. It's been too long. Mm. If you've never had any, you should try some. Probably won't like them, though. Your dad didn't like them. No, he didn't. He definitely, it's a, it's a texture thing. <laughs> yeah. Got all those gnats all over him. Bothering. You're bothering him? No, I think he's used to it. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, he's trying to like. <laughs> I think you're all zoomed oh. up. Oh, he's looking for food. Can you feed them? I don't think so. <laughs> he likes you, babe. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I want a donkey. No, oh, they're so pretty. Look. <laughs> Loving all the loves. Hey. Okay. All right, I gotta race. Off to the duck races. Oh, yeah. well, the kids are gone. <laughs> yeah. We had to wait till the kids left, so we didn't look weird. <laughs> It'll be different this time next year. All right. Mm -hmm. Jess is on the right, Chaz is on the left. On your mark, get set, go. Oh. Oh, I won! <laughs> no way. All right, rematch everything. Rematch, okay. This was already full of water. Was it? Yeah, like your, your hand oh. was fine. Well, I looked it up first because apparently I don't know how to work a well. Here, I'll I'll try left-handed. Just okay. for you, babe. Alright. You mark, get set, go. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey. oh no. Guess I can't do <laughs> that one's really cute. That one is really cute. Oh my gosh. So tiny. I love it. Right, we're walking right into the sun. <laughs> Here we go. All right. All right, which way? Uh, I guess right. Okay. Well, I don't know. What do you think? Uh, well, you're already walking this way. Can you just trust me, Yeah, mother's instinct. Okay, you're walking. Your maize boots on? My what? Your maize boots? I'm not sure what that is. Boots meant just for this maze. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you chose the right path, babe. Of course I did. We must have missed a turn. We did go that way, so yeah, I think we, we need to. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> Did we make it, babe? I don't know. <laughs> we just turned around and came back to the beginning. <laughs> Did we? Feels like we were in there for a while. Let's see. Oh yeah, we did. Because here we are, back at the beginning. No, we ended up there. Oh, you're right, we did. So we left the medium maze and came out of the small maze? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> That one. That's a nice one. Yeah, this. All right. What do you think? Oh wow! What? You got like air. Is that a motorcyclist over there? Yeah, dirt bike. Oh, a dirt bike. Yeah. Oh, it's a dirt bike track. Wow! Look at my strong man. <laughs> you guys, I have a big kid on my hands. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> Are you trying to stay like that the whole time? Yeah. Oh, wait, here comes the other girl. I got dizzy. How was that, babe? 
It's pretty fun. We need one of those in our she, backyard. The little girl thought I was your mother. She said, oh, there's his mother. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah. I am your child. Yes, you your biggest one. I love it. That's been so great. Ooh, let's get a snow cone. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our day at the pumpkin patch yeah. and the sunflower fields and everything. So we're going to finish off our day with some snow cones because it's actually been quite hot out here. Yeah. And then yes. and yeah. we're wearing jeans. We got our three pumpkins. So now we are just going to go home and watch the FSC football game. Yes, go Noles. We'll see you guys in our next video. Yeah. Bye. Bye.